Hello friends, I hope you all are fine. Today I am going to show you a new tutorial which I have designed on a new board named as Myrio. This Myrio board is designed by National Instruments and it is used uh, in many engineering projects. It's a very powerful board and it has built-in FPGA on it. Uh, we program this National Instruments Myrio board using LabVIEW. So today I am not going to show you how to write a program or how to uh, develop any code in LabVIEW. Instead, today we are just going to get some introduction of this MyRio board and we will see how to get started with it. The link of this tutorial getting started with any MyRio is shown uh, in the description of this YouTube video. And when you click on that link, you will come to this post on our blog getting started with NI Myrio. Uh, recently, I have a, I got a chance to work on a project in which I have to use this Myrio board and I have to drive a robot uh, on which I applied uh, some image processing and some PID control to drive it smoothly and then I have also applied some uh, obstacle avoidance algo. Well, it was quite a big project and I am not going to discuss that one. Instead, today I am going to just discuss the introduction as I just said. Anyway, let's get started with it. Uh, as I uh, just mentioned, the link of this tutorial is given in the description of this video. NI Mario board looks like as shown in this figure. This NI Mario board I received around two months ago and uh, I was quite amazed by its power because it's very efficient and it's easy to program. You can program it quite easily using LabVIEW and uh, as it has FPGA on it so that's why it has awesome speed. Anyways, uh, suppose you go to your NI Mario board and you are you have just opened your box and you don't know anything about it. Okay? So when you take it out you will get a USB cable with it. So and you have to buy a 12 volt adapter the 12 volt adapter doesn't come with the box so you have to buy it separately so when i am now plugging my mario board uh, which i know you can't see but anyways i am plugging my mario board via adapter 12 volt, volt adapter and now i am plugging my usb cable one side of the USB cable in the Mario board and the other side of the USB cable in my laptop. And as soon as you plug it, you will get something as shown in on this uh, on this video, a new window box. So what you need to do when this pop-up opens, you have to click on this launch the getting started wizard. And one more thing, you must have installed the lab view. Uh, when you go to this uh, Mario box, the driver CDs are in it, will be in it. So, using those uh, CD or DVD, DVDs, you have to install the LabVIEW software and also have to update the drivers. Which is quite easy because there is also a manual in that box which will guide you step by step how to do it. Anyways, when you plug your USB on your computer, this window will open up. And in this video window, you have to click on the launch the getting started wizard. And if you check this post, I have also shown here this one opened up. And now when you click, when you click on the launch the getting started wizard, the same getting started with NI Mario will open up. Now what you need to do, you can, uh, you need to do, you, you need to refresh this. This. Refreshing is not required because uh, it's already showing the NI Mario connected with your laptop and this one is our board. Anyways, if you want to refresh, you can simply refresh. And then you need to click next button and when you click on this button, a new window will open up which I have also shown on this tutorial. Here you can change your name if you want to but uh, I don't want to so I'm just gonna click next. Here, you can see this box has opened up. Now, this box is showing the four LEDs. These are four LEDs which are present on your NI Mario board. 
named as LED 0, 1, 2 and 3. So right now because these two are on so that's why my LED 2 and 3 are on and these two are off that's why my LED 0 and 1 are off. So now I can click it and the LED 0 is on now. So if you are working on your board then if you click this button you will see your LEDs will start start to on or off whichever you click. And these three axes are showing the gyroscope. This uh, NI Mario also has a gyroscope on it. So now I am gonna change my Mario position and you will see these X, Y, Z axes will also change. You can see now I am tilting my NI Mario and you can see the Z axis is X axis Y and Z axis are changing. See and uh, here the button uh, NI Mario also have a button on it which is named as button 0 on the back side. So when I click the, that button this black circle will go green. So now I am clicking and you can see when I click it this green uh, this black box goes green. So from there you can check your button your LEDs and your X, Y and Z axis gyroscope. So it's a uh, getting started tutorial and in this tutorial we have seen how to get started with NI Mario. So I'm gonna click next and now here it says start your first project or go straight to lab view. So that's all for today. In the coming tutorial we are gonna configure our Mario board our Wi-Fi. So that we don't need to plug our USB with the laptop instead we just simply click on the program and the program goes upload to our Mario via Wi-Fi. Yeah. So this is the topic of next tutorial. Till then take care. Subscribe our YouTube channel and also subscribe our blog via email from here so that you got these exciting tutorials straight to your inbox. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.